brought a, I brought a gift with me right here. Um, this right here is the iPlane 1. It's a hydrogen powered uh, airplane. And this is what our president should be flying in. Look at this chair. <laughs> we'll get rid of Air Force One. Can we get rid of Air Force One? <laughs> well, well, we're gonna have Apple, an American company, work on this plane with. Here, let me give this guy a hug right here. I love this guy right here. We all thought 2020 couldn't get better. You know, but coronavirus, the riots, the protests. Kanye West, Yeezus himself, is officially running for president. Personally, I'd vote for The Rock, but according to the world we're living in right now, I wouldn't give a fuck if Rey Mysterio ran for president. So right away, people are gonna laugh at how ridiculous this is. The same guy that said, and I quote, eating Asian pussy. All I need is sweet and sour sauce. The same guy that said, and I quote, I'll fuck your Hampton spouse, came on her Hampton blouse, and in her Hampton mouth. And lastly, the same guy that said this, and I quote, Now, if I fuck this model, and she just bleached her asshole, and I get bleach on my t-shirt, I'ma feel like an asshole. Yeah, that's the guy that will be running... The country. Yeah, that's the guy that will be running America. You know, not like it's any different from who's running it right now. But just think about it. The first lady will be Kim Kardashian. The first lady that swallowed Ray J's nut on Pornhub. The first lady that constantly shoves her ass in everyone's face. This is going to be the presidential cabinet. You have Kanye West as the president. Kim Kardashian as the first lady. You have Secretary Beyonce and Jay-Z. The judge is going to be Nicki Minaj. The Democrats and the Republicans. It's going to be the Democrips and the Rebloodicans. Nick, you're just saying that because he's black. No, he talks about this in his music. All seriousness, I support it. I never voted in my life. To be frank with every single one of you, I'd actually vote for him. The same guy that talks about bleaching assholes, he's gonna be in charge of the country. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. A world where nothing makes sense. I, I thought that was 2020, but with Kanye, it's gonna be a whole nother level. Have you seen his interviews? This world is gonna be like watching the Da Vinci Code or Inception. You don't know what the fuck's going on. And sometimes not knowing what's going on, I'm completely fine with that. Sometimes I just wanna be out of the loop and not take everything so serious because doing that stuff bores me and angers me to the point where I, I feel like suffocating this baby. You go on his Twitter, this is what he said. This is how he announced it on the 4th of July. What a better way to announce that you're running to be the leader of us. We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision, and building our future. I am running for president of the United States 2020 vision. Now, is he running this year? I, I think it's a little too late. I mean, I don't pay attention to politics, but now I have to. Kanye even has the support from Elon Musk. We already know these two are friends, or they probably bone each other every night. But that's crazy. If you have Elon Musk behind you, you might as well just be President Ye right now. Honest to God, if this is official... He's gonna win. I'm telling you, come back to this video when the next president arrives and you'll see that I was right. That white kid with a fucking Yoda in his shirt was right. A lot of people are against him because he has shown to be wearing a MAGA hat, that he supports Trump, you know, they're buddy buddies fucking each other every night. Honestly, I think it was all a game just to get close to the dude, just to get all that intel. And then he pops up like, bitch. I'm in charge now. Imagine telling someone in 2008 that in 2021, 2022, that Kanye West would be the president. I'd go up to you and I would think you're retarded. I have no interest in politics. I stay away from it. I want no part of it. I don't even know what things mean. But if I would to start caring, it's gonna start with him. All of these old white men in office that always talked shit about rap in the past, they were all racist, is now being run by what they used to talk against. Make America yay again. Make America bleach their asshole again. I mean, he featured God on one of his songs. 
Do you really believe that he can't become president? If he has a connection with God that he actually got God in the studio to record vocals, do you think he can't become president? I'm telling you, Kanye was in charge of COVID. He just made that shit go in the air so everyone would blame Trump. How do you feel, baby? Damn. On a serious note, with who's in charge right now, who the fuck cares what happens from this point on? With COVID happening, we're basically in the apocalypse. Everybody's gonna die. We're gonna be gone within five years. Everyone's gonna be dead. It's gonna be a wasteland. And Kanye West is gonna be standing on the ashes with his Yeezy boots. He'll create millions of little yaylings. Who knows, one of us might be reincarnated into a little Kanye. And then we have rights to the throne. Okay, I'm getting way too off topic now. The White House is gonna be the Black House. I am telling you right now, I'm telling you, I said it earlier, come back to this video a year or two from now. The White House, that bitch is going to be black. I'm down for that too. Imagine a black White House. I'm telling you, Coachella 2022 is going to be at the Black House. But yeah, this was a crazy night. I thought it was a joke for years, when, back when he announced it, like a couple of years ago. But it's, it's the truth. He's doing it. And I'm all on board. Are you on board? Let me know in the comments. If you don't, then fuck off. And subscribe. I talk about random shit every single day. Shit that hits my mind. Trending stuff so, just so I could get some views. And that's about it. Subscribe, bitch.